uh, Miss Fatima. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Sorry, Good afternoon. Kalang galag ang ano to sa net. Okay, go ahead and uh, in the prayer, please. Let us put ourselves in holy presence of God. For the Catholics, please make sign of the of your um faith in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. Thank you for allowing us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection you've always bestowed upon us, especially during uh, these trying times. Bless us, Lord, with your wisdom as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and our minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen today. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about our um, subject today. Lord, we humbly thank you and let your will be done in our lives forever. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. In the name of the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you, uh, Miss Fatima. Sorry. Okay, uh, we're done with um, with we're done with um, answering our um, first assignment, and then I gave you the other assignment. Uh, some of them were not checked yet, so just wait for that one. I'm actually, you know. Okay. Uh, I, I continue. I actually uh, in the process of checking it. I, I have eight sections, guys. Um, this anatomy one B, correct? One B. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, we're done with uh, structural. Done. Then we'll go with the activity one after. Okay, I'm gonna present um the intro, uh, just a recap of the introduction of anatomy and pathophysiology uh, down to the cavities. Okay, and then after the one, we'll proceed with activity um, one. But we're not going to to do it today. Um, it's going to be um an assignment for the activity one. I'll instruct you what to do. Okay. Uh, let's start. Just tell me if you can see it. Uh, um, nakita niyo na, guys? Yes, sir. Okay. No, I'm done with this. Did I discuss this one to you, the anatomical language? Ay, sir, excuse that, sir. Delete slides among nakit answer. Hmm. Sorry. problem ako sa ano. Hindi pa dapat present and then uh, in the window. Then I should have this one here.
es mi intro, intro. Ya, son bien. Kaya lang ano, wala ata yung ano ko. Ah, ito. I don't know if you can still see it. Na view niyo na ba? Yes, sir. Okay na, sir. Diyan din ginawa ko eh, pero dapat ganun. Anyway. Okay, um we we'll just have to do uh, a recap in regards with the introduction to human anatomy and pathophysiology. Some of them were already discussed um your first assignment. Okay, when we answered it, um, the last time we uh, we met up. So, what is anatomy? Anatomy is human. Ana uh, human anatomy is the scientific study of the body structures. Some of these structures are very small and can only be observed and analyzed with the assistance of the microscope. And that was we called um, microscopic anatomy or histology, or histology. And we also have the gross anatomy, which actually studies the larger structures of the body that is visible with our naked eye and it doesn't need any aid of magnification or any um, microscope so gross anatomy is also called macroscopic anatomy so example num uh, letter a is is an example of gross anatomy and the other one the neuron cells is the microscopic anatomy or histology so there is two general approaches to the study of the body structures Regional and systemic. When we talk about regional anatomy, it refers to the study of the interrelationships of all of the structures in a specific body region, such as the abdomen. Okay, um, regional anatomy, in um, in a very short as, uh, what do you call this one? Um, um, it actually refers to the interrelationship of different organs. Of the difference from the other system so it doesn't mean that this organ belongs to this system that is regional anatomy basta nandun siya sa isang region where that region composed of any any system as long as nandun siya sa as long as it is included in that specific region that is what we call regional anatomy whereas the systemic anatomy nasa isang system lang siya no so it studies the structures that make up a discrete body system. This is a group of structures that work together to perform unique body function within that specific system. Okay? So, yun ang pagkakaibin nila. Ang pagkakaiba. Sa PICA, sa regional, different systems siya, different organs of different systems, but they belong to one region. But for systemic anatomy, they belong to only, these are the organs that belongs to one system. You got it, guys? Nakuha natin? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Got it. Okay, good. What is physiology? Um, human physiology is a scientific study of the chemistry and the physics of the structures of the body and the ways in which they work together to support the functions necessary for life. Much of the study of physiology centers on the body's tendency toward homeostasis. Homeostasis. So, what is homeostasis? It is a state of steady internal conditions maintained by living things. So, this is the normal state that is maintained by the living things. 
The study of physiology includes observation, both with naked eye and with microscopes, as well as manipulations and measurements. So physiology is about the function of the organs. We already uh, tackled this one also, the relationship between anatomy and physiology. So our, our understanding about this is um, understanding the concept of studying anatomy is useless without knowing its purpose. To fully define and understand a specific organ or system, we should be able to recognize its function and that physiology can answer it all. No? So, ano yung pagkakaiba ng anatomy and physiology? Um, sometimes there's a misconception that these two studies or these two branches are actually the same, but they are not. Okay? Human physiology can vary either within one individual or between different individuals due to differences in things like their genetic makeup. If, um, say, age, okay, so sex, when it comes to hormone, the context of, you know, uh, hormones and the environment. A variation in individual's physiology can include examples that are easy to observe. Like, for example, the one who is sitting down and watching television is, you know, actually maintained his or her body temperature, his or her normal um, state or homeostasis, okay? Compared to someone that, you know, increases its temperature when he or he does or she does her or his exercise. And, and another example is um, to observe is different responses to the same hormones. Okay, uh, not only that one, um, there's also variation in, stru in structure. Okay, and some of them are as follows. Like for example, the palmaris longus. A muscle of the forearm that is one of the most variable muscles in the body. The palmaris longus can vary in number. Could be zero to three. Absent in an estimated 11.2 percent of indiv individuals, not all has palmaris longus, or not all has um, uh, what do you call this one? Um, a max uh, one or two, three numbers. They they don't have a specific like permanent palmaris longus in your body. No, hindi lahat. Pwedeng sa kabila, merong isa, sa kabila, dalawa, tatlo. So, points of attachment, I'm uh, sorry, whether it is more developed or not, the fleshy muscle or less developed, these are actually tendinous muscles. Number two, textured card cardia. This actually uh, where the heart is actually located at the right side compared to some individuals or most of the individuals that their heart is actually located at the left side. So, Ganun lang, may mga pagkakaiba sa structures. I'm just um, emphasizing, guys, the variation of, anat of, of, of anatomy and physiology. No? So, another one, we have parathyroid gland. For, sorry, variation of, uh, of structure you know, in the context of anatomy uh, study. So, we have parathyroid gland. Uh, parathyroid glands vary both in location. Can be found or near the thyroid gland, trachea, and esophagus. Most sources describe four parathyroid glands found at the posterior surface of the thyroid gland, which uh, likely occurs less than half of the time. You have the vertebral column, um, 7, 12, 5, 5, 10, 14, 16, 33. Okay, this is the normal, this is the number of vertebrae in the body, this is 33. Some has 35, some have, some has a range of 25 to 32, but you know, same thing around the person has homeostasis state. So, okay pa rin siya. Hindi lahat ng structures of the human body, like the vertebrae, has 33 verte vertebrates. No? We have some people na meron siyang, like, uh, vertebrae ranges to 25 to 32 vertebrates. Okay? So, now the structure organization of the human body. From the chemicals, like for example, the hydrogen and um, a, spe a very specific example for this, the hydrogen and the oxygen, you know, when they bind together, they become compound, right? Then goes to the cells. When cells are, you know, are 
are are mixed together, they 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 form a tissue. When tissue are you know they perform together, mixed together, they perform an organ, same as with the organs down to the organ system to an organism. So like for this one, um, the hydrogen atoms and oxygen atoms uh, bond to form molecules. Sorry, molecules, not the, uh, yeah, it could be a compound also. To form molecules with three dimensional structures. It becomes water molecule, no? Uh, from water molecule, um, a variety of molecules combined to form fluid and organelles of a body cell. It becomes, um, Cell, so or this is the cellular level, no? Ang pangat pang apat natin is um, the tissue level, wherein um, when cells are actually combined together, they form a body tissue down to organ level. Same goes to organ system level. When this systems, different systems in the body um, uh, work closely together to perform functions of a body system. So down to organismal level. So yun yung structural organization of the human body. The chemical level of organization includes the simplest building, building blocks of matter, the subatomic particles. We have the atoms and molecules. Subatomic particle, uh, particles like protons, which has a positive, um, um, what do you call this one? Positive side. Neutrons with this, um, they're actually equal. No? Electrons is negative. Um, combined to form atoms. Familiar examples of atoms include hydrogen, ox oxygen, carbon, calcium, iron, and nitrogen. Two or more atoms combined to form a molecule, which includes things like water molecules, proteins, sugar, fountains, and living things. Okay, molecules are the chemical building blocks of all body structures. So what is a cell? This is the, the basic unit of, of living organism. All living structures within the human body contain cells, and almost all functions of human physiology performed in cells are initiated by the cell itself. A human cell typically consists of flexible membranes that enclose cytoplasm, a water-based cellular fluid together with a variety of tiny functioning units called organelles. A tissue is a group of multiple sim uh, similar cells that work together to perform a specific function. An organ is an anatomically distinct structure of body composed of two or more tissues. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Tissue types that performs one or more specific organs. Same goes with the organ system. So a body cavity. So what is body cavity? Body cavity is any space or compartment or potential space. Lahat ng merong space sa katawan natin, mapapasukan, those are body cavities. And there are two largest human body cavities, the dorsal body cavity and the ventral, sorry, that's ventral body cavity, okay? When we talk about dorsal, that's actually the back. And when we talk about the ventral, that's actually, okay, front or the interior part of your body. So let's now move on to dorsal cavity. In the dorsal cavity, it includes the brain and the spinal cord or the cranial cavity and the vertebral cavity. The brain and the spinal cord are protected by the bones of the skull and vertebral column and by the cerebrospinal fluid. Cerebrospinal fluid is a colorless fluid produced by the brain, which cautions the brain and spinal cord within the dorsal cavity. So now let's proceed to uh, ventral cavity. Ito yung nasa anterior part ng body natin, which has two major main subdivisions. Or sorry, or main subdivisions, yeah. Thoracic cavity and the abdominal pelvic cavity. Later on, I'm going to show you a photo of this one. The thoracic cavity is a more superior subdivision. When you say about superior, it's taas, no? Sa taas na, sa taas ng, what do you call, um, an anterior, anterior part of your body. So that's the thoracic cavity. And it is enclosed by the rib cage. The thoracic cavity contains the lungs, yes, yes. Each found in the pleural cavity and the heart found in the pericardial cavity. So the one that separates the, the thoracic cavity and the abdominal pelvic cavity, or the ab sorry, yung abdominal pelvic cavity, um, actually combination na siya ng abdomen 
cavity at saka uh, pelvic cavity, no? So, when they're combined together, that's actually the inferior part. Kasi lang sinama ng I mean, uh, abdomen, the pelvic cavity, uh, abdomen, uh, sorry, as we call this one, ab yeah, abdomen for pelvic cavity, ang pelvic cavity. That's why naging abdomen pelvic cavity siya. So the one that separates them is the diaphragm. Abdomen and pelvic cavity is the largest cavity in the body because they actually subdivided in two parts, no? Um, sa abdomen at sa pelvic. Which actually primarily houses the organs of reproduction. Yung sa abdomen naman, yung mga digestive organs natin. So this is the the photo. Um, for the dorsal cavity, we have two: the cranial cavity and the vertebral cavity. It's actually, good. it's at uh, uh, um, at the back of your body. That's why it's dorsal cavity. So ventral cavity, naman, we have the thoracic cavity, the abdominal cavity, and the pelvic cavity. They combine together, become abdominal pelvic cavity. But there's only two main divisions: the thoracic and the abdominal pelvic cavity. So, um, what else? So this is a lateral view and the anterior view of your human body, showing the cavities, the major cavities of the anterior part. Okay, that's it. Um, guys, for your activity one, for your activity one, um, I'm going to post it on um on your class work page. Um, it's about um uh, emphasizing emphasizing the different body planes and the you know using the tomato. Actually, lahat ng sa assignment natin sa 1 and 2 were actually part of the activity 1. So, this is just part of the activity 1, 2, just to finish it or, okay, just to conclude. Okay, I'm gonna post it. This is what you're going to do. Um, you, you do a video presentation of, 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 of this one, okay? You buy a tomato, a big tomato, and then um, the materials are as follows. No? Uh, tomato, you have the plate, you have the marker or pencil pen. And you have five toothpicks. Okay. And one big tomato, tomato, uh, isulud ninyong isa ka uh, toothpick representing the head. Representing the head. Then the two uh, toothpicks, sa, sa sides niya, representing the hands. And the two toothpicks also. So inferior part ng, ng, ng kamatis ilagay nyo representing the, the lower limbs, okay? So you do a video of that one na nasa, na representing that this a person, okay? Then you put A as an anterior, letter B, posterior, P, posterior part, okay? So all you have to do is to like, the moment you slice it, ipakita nyo, na ito yung yung sagittal no, na the body plane so that's how you do it actually i have the instruction there it's easy it's very understandable you can just you know every time that you you demo no the demo niyo yung pag slice na kamatis ipakita niyo kung ano saan doon yung transverse we have four or five i think so uh transverse nandoon yung uh we also have the what they call this one, the, the coronal. Okay, pan you slice and then you emphasize it. Okay, you do a video presentation for that one. And I think nagawa nyo na kasi lahat eh. Um, that's the only activity that you have, but I'm gonna post it on your classwork uh, for a while. Maybe you can draw an eyes also, no, representing that's the eyes of the, the, the person. And then uh, label the anterior and posterior part of the tomato representing the A and P respectively. So A is anterior, P is posterior. 
So you can cut the tomato along with five planes. Yun, yung mga uh, mid-sagittal, parasagittal, frontal, meron tense of verse, at saka oblique. So that's it. So you may present it through a video for format, um, emphasizing the different body planes. You can discuss at the moment you slice it. So that's it. Uh, you will be graded by your uh, video presentation. Or just be creative, you know, because um, it's better if some um, short, but it's informative. So like, mga two to four minutes uh, na video presentation. I'm going to post it on your classwork later on. Um, Naku natin. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna post it so you can just read it and then then um, I'll give you one week for this one to 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 finish this. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have any question with our activity number one? For the lab. Hello. Uh, clear. Are we clear with that one? Um. Okay, Miss Ignacio, go ahead. Hi, sir. Kaning ask kung ta ko if ang size sa kamati sir ba dako juca sir as in dako. Oh, mas mas preferred ang ang dako kay mas ma emphasize man mo ang mga labels. You can label it tapos mas better ang dako, di ba? Para pag slice pod ni mo, ma emphasize pod ni mo kung sa tsusak lang is lasting nga nga plain, body plain. So better. Okay, and you ready? Hadlo kay sir, abi wala dog ko, sir. Uh, you can you can uh, be creative. Kung gulay dag ko, you can use the gagmay. Then, when you slice it, be careful. As, as chada ng dili kahinog. No? Eh, para di malata. So, that's one of our materials because we cannot do that as of the moment because yun nga sa COVID uh, situation natin. That's why that's our activity number one. You can actually do that, guys. Easy lang siya. Even me, I can prepare it now if you like. Pero it's activity, so I want you to, to, to do that by yourself, no? It's part of our activity one, just to conclude our activity number one. Okay, uh, any question? Kasi may sasabihin pa ako sa inyo after this one. Mr. Pastor Iza? Wala. Mr. Gores? Ah, yunahan ko ni Mr. Gorez, oh. Uh, Mr. Berdiguel? I'm not so far, sir. Okay, so that's it. Anyway, uh, kabalo ba mong uh, naatay face-to-face na sa 7? I think na move sa 14, sir. I'm not sure. Wala mong good sila yung ano. For yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, at 3 p.m., we're going to talk about it, no? We're going to discuss um, discuss uh, this um, this memo that just you know came out yesterday, yesterday two days ago. I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, sa protocol kasi kailangan 30 percent lang, and how about the 70 percent of the students? So that's number one question. Number two is that some of the parents who won't allow their children or their daughters or son know to to go to 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 the school due to you know to pandemic so yun pinag-aaralan pa namin i have we have actually a meeting at 3 p.m together with dean aquino and the rest of the faculty so um ano lang uh we'll keep you post uh we'll keep you posted no um um yun mahirap mahirap pag decide sa ngayon do yeah, yeah 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 I understand I understand but um this but but sa akin guys no I will not be here I will not actually go there because I am I am I am um preparing myself for another swab test on the 12 so I I don't want to go out I just go out to to buy for from my groceries even magpalit ko ano sometimes makisugo na lang ko nala ko sa kinan kay mahadlok lagi ko kay nagpositive like, ako and then even to even ano ko kwarta 
Magunit ko, alcohol diretso. Ako kabalo kung tana ako, tana ba virus, ano, nabasya ka ng touch sa virus o wala. O takabalo ba, it's really hard. So usually, naragi ko sa kinan, mag ano, say, magkakang ko sa kinan, di pagkong pa ito, Jollibee or something, kay gusto ko, ako rin magluto. Nag, nag, nagbalay-balay, rabi ako dali sa pad, o, kay gili, pag ko gusto mo ito sa taas, sa pound yan mo, ah. So this pad, I rented this pad for my bar sa Walwalan. So, magamit ba? So, gibutang na ako siya dan ni. Uh, I'm renting this for nine months, but I'm not staying here. So it just happened that I got COVID and then nagstay lang ko dere. I'm it's my like 14 days na. I don't even go to to the stall, to the food park sa bar. If you're familiar with Walwalan here, um. Maglisod ko kay had look ang COVID no uh, it's really unpredictable um um even if you don't have any symptoms at all pag nakatapad ka or I do not know I don't really know the transmission sabi nila ano daw droplet uh, droplets through droplets but I don't think so even if you touch the material that has been touched by another person who is um, infected with COVID, tapos nilagay mo yung kamay mo doon, na-touch mo, tapos nilagay mo sa ilong mo, maybe you will be, uh, um, uh, so when it comes to COVID, guys, I, I, I have actually doubts, no? Me too, I'm a healthcare professional. I work with the ICU um, in, in King Faisal. I'm the one actually preparing their or medications. At the same time, I go there for, for a visit to the Pixis machine where the medications were actually stored. It's actually a machine. And that area is a COVID area. Okay? I usually I usually um, do my mask just to, you know, try ko daw magka-COVID kung totoong tong COVID. But, you know, I don't have any symptoms. Maybe may COVID na ako, but I don't have any symptoms at all. So, ang hirap. Even the code boxes, Code boxes are actually, it's an emergency boxes, no? Pag may mga code, like code green, code blue, code yellow, or something like that, um, you usually go to to the patient. At kasama tayo sa team na yun, the pharmacist, um, where the emergency medications are actually there. Even the medical supplies, medical um, supplies, yeah, like syringes and everything is there, except for narcotic medications. That we usually get it from the Pixis machine or... It's actually floor that the um, uh, what it calls special special specialist unit, no? So mga ganun, um, nag-refill ako ng code boxes to check if it's expired already or not sa COVID area. So sometimes may doubt ako kasi hindi nga ako nagka-COVID. Ngayon nagka-COVID ako when I nandito ako sa, sa Cagayan. And I'm very, very careful. Though sometimes guys, di ba, um, when we go out, um, one of the things that, that bond us to our friends is kaon mang ginug inom, di ba? Say, di man na yun. Um, then I have this um this business na bar. So, minsan di malak malikayan ba? So, um, next time, karon grabe kayo, vein kayo ko. Uh, when it comes sa mga pwede ko ga inom, dili ko ga ga eat outside, I, I cook by my own. If I want to drink just to to sleep, I, I, I drink. Anda lang akong life dan. Even my sister cannot come here. Even my dad or anyone in my family, they cannot come or get inside. Ako ragin usa dari. Balay-balay lang pa dan eh. Um, anyway, just, you know, uh, keep safe na yun no? Always na yung mga, no? Dala na yun kay. You know what, guys? Alcohol, like for example, the alcohol. It's just 15 seconds. May COVID, makigit siya. I mean, I saw it. I saw a video of that one. Uh, mamatay din siya. So, every time mag-hold to something that you're not sure, you're, you're, you're in doubt na nagnagamit na ang tao, you have to wash your hands. And then, this one, alcohol. And then, always use good sa, siguro sa, sa, mask. Anyway, unya, mag-meeting me, alam, mag-meeting na siguro ka ron. Um, we'll keep you posted, maybe on Facebook, uh, si Doc Basinang lang ga post ata-ata kung sa'yo mga latest, no? Um, and, of course, layupod mo. But, dili lang man ang laboratory na ako. Ata, napag mo yung laboratory sa uban, di ba? Guys, na, di ba? Yes, sir. Yeah, lisod mo. Makaadugid mo, Danny. Eh. Tsaka ganyan, mawagin na siya. 
Huwag din tayong mahihim mo kay aprobado mo sa satisfied. So sometimes, we, if it's required, we have to submit ourselves din. Pero may mga protocols tayo na pinipair ang school and even shed. May pinipair siya na protocol. But me, I cannot really go there because I'm preparing myself for five-day quarantine before my swab test. I want to be a, you know, swab test different from antigen test. I was tested uh, positive, but twice I was tested negative na. Lisod, eh? Lisod. Ingo nila, tanduay. Pag hindi ko kayo nagtanduay, I don't think tanduay man. Hindi ko kayo nagtanduay. Ibuga mo. Ano ra ko, kanang simple lang. Uh, what if wala dag ko ang kamatis? Um, you can use your gagmay na kamatis as long as um, makita ang posterior at anterior part na label din to yung mata, then you can tusok, you can put tusok sa, ta- sa taas, sa gilid o sa ano. As long as pag sa video makita ng inyong, the, inyong um, demo regard, in regards with uh, slicing, okay, slicing, emphasizing the body planes lang. There are four or five body planes. Additional ang oblique ata. So, that's it. Any any question, guys? Any question? Your, your exam will be on the 14th and 14th to 19th of uh, February. I'm not going to make it uh, harder for you to, you know, to study more and more and more. More good. But I'm encouraging you to study, good. Pero I'm not going to 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 make it more difficult to you, uh, more difficult to you to 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 study this subject talaga na yun ang intensive. As long as kung ano yung pinag-aralan natin, mag-focus na kayo doon. No? But you know, um, yeah, uh, it's better to study. You know, it's better to you know to. To explore your knowledge about anatomy and physiology, no? uh, or to go beyond whatever we we discuss. Maganda naman din yun. Kasi lang sa akin lang kung ano yung pinag-aralan natin dito yun lang ipapa i exam ko. Yun lang the basic ones. So um, do you have any questions, Mr. Joseph Nino? Nasa. Uh, Ignacio, meron ba? Wala na. Wala na. Fresh I hope guys you learn from 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 our activity one ha. If you don't um understand it, just um just message me because we are all learning. I learn from you and you will learn from me. Okay? Um I actually keep researching and when I go back to Saudi, another 10 days of work again sa TPN. So I'm still, you know, I still have to to contact you. Um, I still have to to you know to to meet you online, but always depend. Ah, uh, meron na ba tayo ano dito? Si Saison na tayo ano dito? Tama ba manjad? Si Saison no? Si Saison na si Fresha. Um, Fresha emailed you po in your yeah in your email. Saison at cakas Ignacio, di ba? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. About si Sultan Nanda, is she here already? Sir. Hi, I invited you already. Uh, in regards with your activities, uh, nakasubmit na ba ka, Tanan? Mag-submit ko ka lang, sir. Okay lang, yeah, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Just submit it. Uh, yeah, no problem. It's okay. Actually, um, yeah, um, gin- yeah, ginoti ka dan eh. I thought that I already invited you. That's why he, Dina Kino uh, messaged me also. Uh, sabi niya uh, kung na-invite na ba daw kahit na din doon activities. Uh, let me just check if wala date ka na-invite. Sorry kayo. Then, nag- daghan na kayo sa akong email. Nag- natabunan na mga inbox ba? Kung na kayo na ako nakitaan. So, ato lang. Uh, I do consideration, man. No problem with that. So, wala na question. Wala na? Okay na ta? Okay na ta, sir. Yeah. Okay na, sir. Um, guys, 
yeah, for the next laboratory, we'll do it like 1 o'clock, uh, 2.30. Okay, we'll do it in our um, scheduled time. We'll finish it on our scheduled time for the next laboratory. We'll see. Um, I'll do that. Uh, gagawin ko yung ganyan, no? Hindi naman kasi minsan natatapos natin. Gusto kong tapusin din yung, ano, yung oras pag meron tayong, but if it requires or if there is a need to finish it, okay? Um, that's part of um, of my strategy also in, in teaching. No? So that's it. But for now, this one, the Matis, one and take a Matis, Kidetso, Karol, Diretso, Mahatag. Um, you can just, um, I'll give you a one week for that one and then you can submit it on, on, um, maybe, uh, on the scheduled due time. No? So that's it. So thank you so much for this day. I hope you learn from our activity one. And I hope to see you again on Monday. Monday ba, no? Yeah, Monday. I'll still be here. But I think um, on next Thursday, I think um, I will just uh, message Mr. Saison if I I will see you by then. Um, pero maglalagay lang ako ng mga passwords natin while I'm not around yet, no? Because it's really hard to 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 meet you online when I'm working in Saudi and then at the same time the, the time difference is five hours so you are ahead of time so 7 a.m. pa doon no 2 30 mga 9 o'clock na pala something like that too so maybe I am at work at that time but I already arranged with Dina Kino and Mr. Basinang na no, na yun na yung problema ko but they allow me to to you know to go to Saudi Arabia for temporarily and I'll be back on March 5 I'll be here in Cagayan de Oro on the 6th. So most probably I'm going to see you by then. Okay, thank you so much, uh, class. One day I really appreciate your um, your understanding. And uh, I hope to see you on, not hopefully, I'm going to see you on Monday. Okay? So just uh, check your um, check your classwork for that one. Okay, uh, thank you so much and um, safe. Any thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. body cap Our heart is actually going to the body. Some of this, yeah. some of I don't know if you, you know.